Hidden deep in the heart of the Swiss Alps lies a sleeping giant, a 100-year-old dam holding back 25 billion gallons of water, about 94 billion kilograms, or 94 million tons of water pressure, enough to drown entire cities. But here's the terrifying part. This ancient dam has a crack, not just a tiny fracture, a deep scar running almost the entire height of the wall, and it's growing. Even though the dam has had this crack since the 1960s, but the clock is ticking loudly. If this dam collapses, it won't be an accident. It'll be an explosion, a wall of destruction unleashed from 2,000 meters above sea level, and nobody will be able to stop it. But just a few meters in front of this ticking time bomb, something extraordinary is happening. Engineers are racing against time, building a brand new high-tech mega dam under brutal alpine conditions. Before the old one gives out, no second chances, no room for error. This is precision warfare between nature, gravity, and man-made limits. And today, we're going inside the most dangerous construction project in Europe. This is the story of the Spitalam Dam, a century-old masterpiece on the brink of collapse and the engineering marvel being built to replace it. You're watching Construction Wars, where we uncover the wildest, boldest, and most high-stakes infrastructure battles on Earth. So smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell, because what you're about to see could change the future of hydropower forever. The Spitalam Dam was built between 1925 and 1932 by about 600 workers who constructed the impressive arch dam by hand. This type of dam holds back water through its own weight and the support of stabilizing rocks on both sides. A well-known counterpart is the Hoover Dam in the USA, completed three years later in 1935. In 1936, the Spitalam Dam began producing hydropower, but within 30 years, engineers discovered a vertical separation on the water-facing side of the dam. This was largely due to the construction techniques used at the time and the subsequent repairs. As a result, the crown and concrete surface of the dam began to separate from the rest of the wall and gradually shift toward the lake. With 94.6 billion liters of water pressing against it, the damage worsened over time. Investigations revealed the possibility of an alkali silica reaction, ASR, in the dam's mass concrete, a chemical reaction that causes harmful expansion and cracks. This could lead to serious long-term damage, but that wasn't the only issue. Large amounts of sediment had unexpectedly accumulated at the dam's base on the water side. This led to a buildup near the lower relief structures, making it harder to drain water from the Grimsel Reservoir. Blowing up the old dam might have been quite the spectacle, but for the residents who rely on the Grimsel Reservoir for energy, losing billions of liters of water was not an attractive option. Though still operational, the dam has been under constant surveillance with sensors and technicians monitoring every sign of deformation. Repair is not an option, as reinforcing attempts could trigger chemical reactions in the original concrete, making things even more dangerous. The result? the old dam can neither be saved nor discarded. It must be replaced silently and with surgical precision by a new structure capable of withstanding the weight of 94 million cubic meters of water. And that's exactly what's happening now. A dam in front of a dam just a few meters apart. A project that combines Swiss precision, cutting edge engineering, and an urgency unlike almost any other. Construction of the new dam began in 2019 with a planned completion in 2025. Six years may seem long for a 114.3 meter high dam, but the difficult location complicates everything. The Spitalam Dam sits at around 2,000 meters above sea level, accessible only by steep, winding mountain roads and remote mountain passes hours away from the nearest large city. Transporting materials there is a major logistical challenge. In winter, conditions are far from ideal. The construction site is closed from mid-October to mid-May due to heavy snow, avalanche risk, and winds reaching up to 200 kilometers per hour. That means access is impossible for seven months while the area is buried under tons of snow and ice. And all the while, the dam continues to withstand the pressure of 95 million liters of water even with cracks dating back to the 1960s. Even in summer, transporting heavy machinery over dangerous mountain roads is a massive challenge. 
the limited space at the construction site, located at the base of a granite gorge, meant every delivery had to be meticulously planned and delivered in precisely the right order. Luckily, Swiss precision is perfect for such demanding tasks. So, how did they transport tons of concrete over the mountains? They didn't. In true Swiss engineering style, they installed a specially designed concrete mixing plant right on site, an excellent example of Swiss ingenuity. The new Spitalam Dam is expected to stay within its budget of about 130 million Swiss francs. Compared to global mega projects, it's relatively small in cost, but the construction challenges are massive. The new dam features a double curved design, which curves both side to side and top to bottom. This design offers several benefits. It allows for a thinner wall, reducing material use while still ensuring enough structural stability to withstand the immense water pressure of the Grimsel Reservoir. Though the new wall maintains the same height as the original, it's designed with enough resilience to potentially be raised in the future if the reservoir needs expanding. First, they had to create space for the foundation. In such steep, limited terrain, the only practical option was using explosives, but with a cracked old dam nearby, blasting had to be done with extreme caution and, of course, Swiss precision. With all the blasting and excavation, the construction site must have at times looked like a block of Swiss cheese. Remember the sediment buildup at the base of the old dam? The Swiss had a smarter solution. Since explosives seemed to be their strength, they decided to blast a tunnel through the mountain on one side of the dam. This tunnel allows water to be drained from the Grimsel Reservoir and diverted downstream if the water level ever rises too high. It's an innovative approach that ensures both safety and efficient water flow regulation. To complete the tunnel through the mountain, the lake had to be drained by redirecting the entire water supply into a hydroelectric system. Once the lake is emptied, the sediments can be removed from the lake bed, the mountain tunnel completed, and the Grimsel Reservoir naturally refilled through rain, melting snow, and ice. Underground operations. Deep beneath the Grimsel Reservoir lies the real purpose of this entire dam project. Traveling through a two-kilometer tunnel under the mountain brings you to a turbine room deep underground. This is Grimsel II, a textbook example of a pumped storage power plant made possible by the extraordinary terrain of the Swiss Alps. When you have two or more lakes at different elevations, you can connect them and let the water flow from the higher reservoir to the lower one, powering turbines and generating electricity. In times of low energy demand, excess electricity is used to pump the water back up to the higher lake. The result is a self-sustaining loop of clean energy, more consistent and predictable than wind or solar. As of now, the new Spitalam Dam is in the final structural concreting phase, with nearly all sections at their full 114-meter height. The last parts are being refined with precise finishing, focusing on expansion joints, top finishing, and internal gallery connections. Thermal sensors monitor concrete curing in real time to ensure each block reaches the required strength, crucial in an environment where even summer temperature changes can impact the concrete's integrity. At the same time, drilling continues for the relief hydraulic tunnel beneath the dam. Heavy machinery is reaching the exact point where the outlet will be placed. This must be completed before the next spring thaw. Work is being carried out at a fast pace using vibration monitored drills to avoid affecting existing structures. Once the tunnel is done, the reservoir can be drained and the next critical phase begins, cleaning the lake bed. Preparations are underway to deploy amphibious excavators and small dredgers to remove sediments accumulated over decades. In spring 2025, the snow will begin to melt and the first filling of the new dam is scheduled for April. The inauguration of the new Spitalam Dam will take place in June 2025. Thanks for watching.